The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer is a dark but hopeful novel about a boy named Matt. Matt, also known as Matteo Alacran, never left his little home on the opium field for the first six years of his life. However, when Matt turned six years old, he was saved, more of broken out by three children. The three children brought him to the place named the Alacran Estate. The Alacran Estate was the most beautiful and luxurious place Matt has ever seen in his life. However, as soon as the guards found a tattoo on his feet saying property of the Alacran Estate, he was instantly treated like an animal. The tattoo indicated that he was no human but was a clone. Matt was a clone of the powerful drug lord El Patron. El Patron was the overall ruler of the opium farms in the Alacran. However, in the beginning of the book, it seemed as if El Patron loved Matt. Matt was only tolerated by the others because everyone was in such fear of El Patron. In the Alacran estate, Matt learned many things he had not seen in his little home, like the Egypts. The Egypts were brain-controlled people who do not act as if they are human themselves, but are programmed to act as how they are programmed. They cannot talk the way they want to, they cannot feel any feelings, they do not know what hunger, thirstiness, or any simple feelings are. However, even though Matt knew that he was a clone, he didn't really know what clones were used for. Clones at this time were used for organ transplantations to the originals. Matt only existed to help El Patron live forever. Throughout Matt's adventure in the Alacran, he meets many different people and gets help from them. Some of them are his surrogate mother, Celia, his bodyguard turned mentor, Tamlin, and his friend turned love, Maria. All these people help Matt figure out who he really is and why he really exists. My favorite part of this book was when Maria treated Matt as if he was a normal human being in the beginning of the book. While everyone else in the estate treated him like a filthy animal, Maria saw him as a young boy just getting used to a new home. She stated, clothes are no different than humans, just that they were made differently. This showed me that the mindset of this young girl had no sense of segregation, but viewed everyone equally. I recommend this book to people who enjoy science fiction books that have to do with mind programming and clones. I also recommend this book to those people who like books with relationships amongst friends, family, and love.